students i am here with the explanation of lesson 1 the last lesson written by alphonse dodet already i explained much about this chapter in part first and part second today i am going to discuss all about this chapter we are going to end this chapter in part third this is the part third and the last part of the explanation of this chapter the last lesson in the second part we had ended Uh, when Mr. M. Hamel had been taking class in grammar, after grammar class, Mr. M. Hamel started taking their class in writing, means handwriting. So for this purpose, for the purpose of writing, that day Mr. M. Hamel had brought new copies, new notebooks with him, and he had distributed those notebooks to all the students, to all the people. Means blazers were also there in the class. So to all the people present in the class, he had distributed those notebooks. And what was the thing there in the notebook? Mr. M. Hamel had written in his beautiful cursive handwriting. France, Elsie's, France, Elsie's. This thing, France, Elsie's, France, Elsie's. These things, these words, he had written in each and every notebook which he had brought that day for the writing purpose, which he had distributed among all in the class. Now, at this point, we find nationalism and patriotism, the patriotic feeling invoked among all the people present in the class. and they found they looked when they looked at the at those notebooks those were placed on their desk each one desk now those notebooks containing france elsays france elsays were appearing to them as their nation's flag as their nation's little flag floating all where in the class in from at the top of each one desk friends was also busy in the work okay he was also busy in the writing work but as we know that friends is the narrator of this chapter he also was capturing the things everything every moment what had taken place at the time of the last lesson so as he narrated here and we are reading he notices that at this time everyone was so silent no one was talking to each other among each other there was complete silence pin drop silence in the class only and only the scratching of the pen when we write anything on the paper okay the pen produce sound that sound was only able to be heard in the class everyone was so busy in their work that no external objects could have disturbed them as such as their Uh, once there entered beetles beetles means flies so by the entry of the beetles no one was disturbed no one had noticed about those beetles at this time me uh, they, when friends was observing all these things he was capturing all these things these movements he also heard the sound of the pigeon those who were some of the pigeons were sitting at that roof of the class so those pigeons cooed in a very low voice cooed c double o coo this is a sound of a pigeon made by the pigeon so some of the pigeons were sitting at the roof of the class and they cooed they sounded at this moment friends questioned himself whether these prussian soldiers who have seized the freedom of our language whether these prussian soldiers will also make these pigeons to sing in germans he was friends was filled with hatred feelings for the uh, prussian prussian soldiers and here he intend to think that well, they have seized people prussian soldiers could seize freedom of language from the humans but are they also capable that they could seize the freedom of language from animals and birds okay when friends was noticing all these things he was also busy in his writing work whenever he lifted his hand friends was uh, busy in writing work and he also was gazing here and there so he noticed whenever he lifted his head up out of writing work he noticed that mr am hamel he was sitting on his chair 
silently and was looking was staring what was gazing at each and every object each and everything that was present in the class as if mr am hamel was capturing the memories of all the things and why not he had given 40 years of his life in the same classroom in the same school and now the time has come when he has to leave the place leave that school leave those student those village people whom he have ever had taught he was emotionally attached with the school with his nation with the with his language now the time has come that he has to leave all these things within these 40 years of his service many things passed in front of his eyes such as the furniture of the school the new furniture of the school he had seen turning them old he had seen a small planted tree small plants growing into tall tree as such one mention in the chapter that is the walnut tree now it has grown so grown so tall and the hope vine one of the vine which he had hope vine self had planted now it has also grown so tall that with the support of the wall had reached till the terrace now this was a very painful and heart breaking moment for uh, mr am hamel as he has to leave the place he has to leave the country and his sister who was also living with mr am hamel she was there in the room and she was packing the luggage so that they could leave the next day friend says with or filled with this uh, filled with uh, pain he had still courage to listen the lessons from each and every one present in the class to the last and here we find one more interesting event that we know about uh, our old houser that we had discussed in part second old houser had come with his primary book with his basic book beginners book and kids in the class they were reciting their uh, alphabets of france okay of french language so old houser being a very elderly man of the village he also started reciting those basic letters along with the kids and he was crying he was filled with emotion that his voice was trembled he was his voice was trembling he was reciting with the trembling voice that created a funny scene in the class who all noticed this thing of the old houser they all wanted to laugh but they hadn't because this was not just a question of laughing on this funny event it was a question to repent and remorse on their last lesson about repenting why they had not given importance to their mother tongue importance to the education why they all had wasted their time unnecessarily in other things so friends further says now the clock church clock after this incident what had happened in the church we all know that in the church clock a big clock they have and they the prayer takes place at proper time so now this was uh, the church had a clock and that is struck 12 that showed 12 o'clock noon time and prayer and the song in the church also started along with this people of the class friends mr am hamel heard about the trumpet sound trumpet is a type of a musical instrument that prussian soldiers were having with them and they were returning from the drill returning from the exercise as in the starting of the chapter i explained you that prussian soldiers were exercising in the open field at the back of the sawmill those same prussian soldiers now facing forward facing to the towards the classroom and this sound the trumpet sound made it clear that prussian soldiers have come after exercising and now mr am hamel understood the time has come when he has to leave the place he stood from his chair mr ham uh, mr am hamel was looking so pale so pale means his face has become so yellowish he has lost all the charm and happiness from his face as this was the sad moment too so when he stood up from the chair very pale 
he said to all he said to the class my friends i i means he said my friends and further he couldn't go after saying i he stopped there he couldn't complete this sentence because he was so emotionally filled here with pain so what he did he turned towards the bo board took chalk and wrote on the board as big as he could write with la france he wrote in france french with la france that means long live france and after that he leaned his head on the wall and with the hand signal he signal to the students to the class to the villagers that the class is dismissed you all can leave you all can go and in this way this chapter ends